Hey everybody, this is Grant with Spark, uh, State of the Spark, and i um, super pumped to have Teresa O'Brien on uh, this call. We've talked a lot. Uh, she, you've seen her in a lot of things, and I want to make sure that we're keeping you guys informed about how people are being, how other business owners are being affected, how Teresa's being affected, how we're being affected, but learn from each other because the most important skill, I think, is adaptability. And, you know, I've watched Teresa here over the last six months, nine months, think through an idea, gestate an idea, give birth to an idea, grow an idea, and then encounter the, the corona. So we're going to check in with you real quick. So Teresa, yes. uh, give us like for those who might not know what Helper is, let's give them the, like the 30 second to 60 second long like, synopsis, but then tell us initially how you've been affected. So tell us about Helper and how you've been affected. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hello. Um, yes, I'm the founder of Help Her. Uh, we help individuals and small businesses by connecting them to an on-demand solution, which means like hourly help, project basis, seasonally with their task-related needs. So it could be anything from packing, unpacking, cleaning, helping with an event, um, laundry, um, phone calls, data entry, tutoring, you know, whatever that on-demand um, task related need is we can do that with an on-demand solution. So, and that is us. So we launched it January 9th. Like you said, we came up with this idea in the fall. Well, yeah. I mean, I've had that idea for a while, but in the fall, I was, got real serious about it and, um, took the nine week course at Catapult's co-starters class mm -hmm. and was very curious. I'm just going to say I was very curious. I was scared. I wasn't sure if it's something I really wanted to commit to. Didn't know, didn't have the confidence. Um, sure. And went through that process and realized, yeah, I, I want to do it. I know my why. I understand and believe mm. in it. And, um, and then hit full speed, like you said. And we launched January 9th. And Man. yeah. And it's been, it was great. It was, it was fabulous. Um, I really felt the community of Central Florida, Lakeland specifically, really hone in and help. So we started helping. We started getting members, um, which that means that basically we're asking people if they're a member that they'll commit to us for up to three months. They can then come to us and ask us for help continuously. They can come to us and we connect them with an independent contractor, which, which is a woman um, mm -hmm. who's skilled, their background checked. Um, I have their database, so I know when their availability is, I know what tasks mm -hmm. that they enjoy doing and, and we connect them and help them find value and show the world that they have a lot to offer. At your so, peak, how many helpers have you had deployed? Um, we have 17. So we started, I had to add two more this month. Um, but, but at that time we had 14. 14, 15, 15, sorry, <laughs> we had 15 mm. and um, I was able to connect 13 of them in wow. two, two months. Wow. Yeah. And yeah. Blowing people, very man, that, to yeah. Me, that's, that's the joy of, yeah. of business. And honestly, it's accentuated in the pandemic is mm. I'm deriving more joy out of, I've got a mission, like more than normal. I've got this mission of how many people can I keep in business? Or yeah. like the employee, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. so to that point, you had a ton of momentum. Uh, yeah. I mean, there was I felt like there was news coming from you guys weekly on, yeah. hey, we've got this new partnership, we've got this new member. So, how has the uh, Corona actually affected business? What have you yeah. seen? Yeah, yeah. So, probably it was around th two weeks, three weeks ago. Um, right when it started happening, we started hearing about the virus. Um, we, our, our partnerships with our members really started having those conversations quickly. We wanted to make oh, wow. sure that they felt safe. Um, cause we were, there was one big one that we were working with, which was Visti. So oh, if yeah. you're not familiar with Visti, Visti is volunteers in service to the elderly. So here's our target market that we need to make sure and ensure that they're safe and, you know, that, you know, with the virus. So we were having our members, we had, at that time, we had, we had started with three uh, helpers helping Visti. Then we moved all the way up to five. Wow. So I had five, I had five women working with Visti once a, every week. 
for three months we had committed. So we had to kind of stop and hit the break and say, is this safe for Visti? Is this safe for our helpers? Mm -hmm. um, so that was, that was a little sad, but also it, it, it was the right choice and it felt, mm -hmm. you know, it was okay. So, you know, in that situation, we just stopped the membership and said, when we can come back, we'll re we'll revamp the membership and we'll have the helpers. Mm -hmm. So honestly, our helpers were, I think actually a little relieved because they felt like that pressure of like, I can't be in their home. I, you know, I want to make yeah. sure that they, so everyone, I think everyone was happy with that. And they don't want to uh, be a decision. threat. I mean, no. no matter where people are falling on this debate of stay inside or go out or not or rebel or whatever, like everyone can agree the seniors yeah. need to yeah. be protected, you know? Yeah. And so that, yeah. that's a tough call. That's yeah. tough. But yeah, it, it, it was, but it, it wasn't, you know, in the sense that I felt, you know, I felt peace about that. I was like, it's the, it's sure. just the right choice. And I think my helpers were happy that I was able to tell them you can't go, we can't do this job right now. So that made me, you know, that felt good knowing that they needed me to be a leader to say, you're not going to do this. Yeah. Um, so, th and then for, through that, you know, we had um, two other members that they, they've asked the same thing of like, let's just pause and let's wait. Mm. So we're doing that, but there's um, two other members that we're still continuing. And so we yeah. just got, um, we got creative and that's, you know, what you have to do. And so example, we're doing laundry for one of our members. So oh, wow. they, this, yeah. So this family, you know, has two working, you know, parents has still children employed. at home. Yeah. Still employed, mm -hmm. um, has their children at home and they're overwhelmed, you know, just like all of us, you know, that yeah. now the dynamics of the home are different. Now I have to work in my home. I have to be with my kids the entire time I have to make sure, you know, schooling, da, da, da. So this task of laundry still matters to them. Like yeah. I need something to take off my list. So we got creative and this was actually from my helpers, uh, an idea from her, which I really appreciated. Like I loved it, not all being on me of making these choices. Um, so basically the member, she leaves her laundry out on the front porch at the time, date and time that the helper says she's going to pick it up. <laughs> like she goes, the milkman. Yeah, she picks yeah. it up. She goes, the helper <laughs> takes it to her house. She folds it. And then she then texts them and says, this is my estimate time of arrival to come back. Wow. So then the family then takes the kids. They go in the backyard to play. They go do a family walk around the neighborhood. They do something to be out of the house. <clears throat> and then wow. my, my helper goes back in the house and puts it all away. And it's like a little, wow. it's a little, little fairy very uh, laundry, uh, laundry <laughs> fairy. <laughs> yeah. So, and, and for those watching who don't know, like Teresa has been around entrepreneurs. She's been a support to entrepreneurs. She's been a confidant to her husband who's kind of led an entrepreneurial life with his filmmaking, but she herself, this is her first baby project of her own. Right. And so yep. this is trial by fire for you, yep. especially with something that I'm using a word I'm using a lot and that is adaptability. You know, like, oh my gosh, like I had a vision of what this would look like on a Pinterest board, you know, and now we have to be adaptable. And you're talking about your team is rallying around that adaptability. What other ways are you and your team uh, trying to explore new ways to serve your clients in a relevant way? Yeah. What else yeah. are you changing? Yeah. So, so probably last week, be, like, let's just be honest, let's be real, you know, last week, I was just like, I don't know. I, I, I have no ideas. Like yeah. I can t keep on telling you that we're going to be safe, that we have masks and gloves, but I don't know, you know, and I just, mm -hmm. I was feeling it like everybody else. And it was like, let me just take a break and just breathe and rest. Yeah. Honestly, I just took time to rest and I read, I found practices to do every day that I felt like I had control of. So mm. I, I made my bed. <laughs> I checked in with, a, I checked in with a friend. Yes. I listened to a podcast. I, you know, read a book I, for mm. 30 minutes. You know, I, I, I watched a movie with my family, like at one o'clock, I was like at one o'clock, we're going to watch a movie. Like, mm. it's just like, these are things I can control and know that I'm going to be, you know, but after I had that 
those times of days of rest, I was like, okay, like, what is this going to be? Um, I had a great phone call. It was a zoom call with co-starters national. Yes. And they offered a great zoom call and I went on it and I was not having a good sunshiny day. And I consider myself a very sunshiny person. Um, <laughs> <You are. laughs> and, um, went on and I was challenged and it was so everything mm. I needed. So that morning, ironically, I asked, cause that's just who I am. I was just like, how, how can I let my customers know that I care for them? Yes. Um, that's, that's what helper is all about. I mean, that's, that's what it, why it became what it is because it's who I am. Like I love yeah. helping people and I'm like, how can I let my customers know I want to help them? Like, how yeah. do I do this? So I started this zoom call, um, challenged us to ask, what are your clients thinking? Yes. How, how can you, you know, what, what are they thinking? What can you do to show them that you care? Um, and so we got to go in little breakout sessions and I was like, this is exactly what I was thinking this morning. I just needed someone to make me talk about it. Yes. Um, and so I was like, I know exactly what I want to do. You know, I want them, I want to bring them sunshine. I want them to know that I'm there, you know? Um, so I immediately, after that call, I went to Rafa Natural. So that's a local business here in Lakeland that sells soap, hand soap and lotions and detergents. And I went and bought some hand soap and came then the next day, put together packages and cheesy. That's who I am. I made tags with my helper colors that said, just soap yeah. in you. You have a great day. I did see this. Yes. Um, I, the lady, our helper, our member that we do laundry for, I went and bought laundry soap and, um, softener yeah. and I know she has kids at home. So I got her some crafts that mm -hmm. her kids could do. And I just said, and one load at a time, let's take one load at a time. Oh, wow. That's and great. I just went and I just drove around and I dropped it off at their front door and just texted them and just said, left you a package at your front door. Hope you have a good day, you know? And I know, and I believe it makes a difference knowing that we're thinking about them, you know? Yes. And for those watching, some people, you know, some of my more skeptical friends will go, oh, that's great lip service. That's a great marketing tactic. For those who don't know Teresa, this is like legitimately authentic who she is. Like, mm -hmm. yes, it, we call these sh like um, in marketing, we call these swag bombs, right? And in, and in a normal market, you find what someone wants and you drop them a bunch of swag and you try to catch their eye and it's really invasive. But in this context, it's really you trying to express this passion of how do I authentically love on people? And let's just go back yeah. to the foundations. And I've been saying to a lot of people, this uh, crisis or any crisis really will, will not make people behave differently. It will accentuate who mm -hmm. they are because it, we'll go back to, in some cases, go back to our fundamental nature and just try to serve people. For me, it's, it's talking and contacting and communicating and, and extracting like what's going on out there. Like, that's just what I do. Like I pick people apart, like what's going on in the brain. And I just try to figure out what people are doing to, in this case, get by. But, but what did you get verbal response? Did you get it? Yes. Any, yes. Any so there? they, yeah. So they all wrote me back immediately saying, oh, wow. thank you so much. I needed this. I needed, you know, <laughs> I, pre I appreciate you. I appreciate helper, you know, basically like they understand, like they want to still, and they are going to remain a member that just awesome. right now, you know, we need to just pause for a minute. Like sure. maybe it's not safe that the helpers are in their home, but let's come mm -hmm. up with a creative way to do it when they feel safe, you know? So they, yeah. Yeah. So it was great. And, you know, and then someone posted it and, you know, that's not what I was looking for, but that was sure. great. And I could share that, but, um, wow. yeah, I just wanted them to know, like, you're not alone, you know? Yeah. Um, cause I, I feel like that's what in this whole thing, like, and we last all... week, each week is different. And last week yeah. I think was really challenging for a lot of people. Like two weeks ago, I think people were like, Oh man, a week off. We'll see how this plays out. And they went to the grocery, they took care of the house. They took care of the car this week. There was some boredom. There was some awareness. There was some tougher news out there. And so I think this week was really difficult. So that's good mm -hmm. timing. And I think, I think it's really good timing because this week people are starting to realize I might have to adjust yeah. to yeah. what's going on here. Yeah. 
So and that's then, what we're doing now. So that's, okay. Um, yeah. So what are you doing? so and then from there, that was Friday. So then, sure. Buckle up. I broke my law of which is like I don't work on the weekends, and I worked <laughs> all weekend. <laughs> um, which you know to vamp this up. So um, I I. I feel like the biggest thing with helper is I was really good at hitting individuals and small businesses at a certain price point, but I definitely knew, I definitely knew that there was families that definitely need helper that might not be able to afford what I was offering. Um, and so, and I really wanted to find a way to make that work. And so I, asked a bunch of questions and did a little teeny research um, and asking some people like if this is this model would work. So basically um, I decided on April 2nd, we're going to, we're going to launch so that this week um, we're going to launch a new announcement. It's a limited time only, but it's a special announcement that it's going to be three hours for $75. Oh wow! So, and no connection fee. Oh so, wow. Okay. Yeah. So this, I feel like is going to be great for those families that yes, two people, two working parents are at home. They're working from home. Their kids are home. Now we know that now we know that kids are home at least till May 1st. You know, we just got Mm -hmm. that announcement. So, um, they're doing distance learning starting this Thursday. Yeah. Um, there's so many new things that Mm -hmm. we now have to figure out as a family, let alone, again, the tasks that we have to do in the house. And I feel like this is ne- more than ever a good time to ask for help. And, yes. you know, and I, I need to be able to find a way to do that where they can still do. And run all $25. You there? My internet's freezing up. Check, check. I can't hear you. But now I can't hear you. Oh, can you hear me now? Now, yes. Okay, we're back. Thanks for everyone pausing. We'll edit that out later. But (laughs) I lost you on, um, I'll tell you where I lost you is, uh, everything's changing, Um, people are home, and then I lost you right about there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So people are home. Distance learning starts this Thursday here in Lakeland, Polk County. Um, and we've now been told that kids are home at least until May 1st. So, you know, this is a lot of information that is more stress, more stress. Like, okay, now, okay. Now at least I know the date, but I have now my kids at home. I have my work I have to do. I have to make sure they're doing okay. And then, oh yeah, I have to still make sure they're being fed and that we have groceries and that we, you know, have a clean house and laundry's being done and stuff. So I felt like Gosh. here's an awesome opportunity that we can still help you. And I know personally for us, we're looking at our budget and we're, we're trimming it down and, you know, trying to see what can we do to make things, you know, easier and you know so i i wanted to come up with something that i felt like was budget friendly and yes. and i That's feel huge. like more than ever before i feel like helper is is needed in homes yeah. and it's something that i've really wanted to find mm-hmm. a way to do um so you know we can run your errands for the week for 75 dollars. we can That's meal great. prep we can meal prep plan and grocery shop for 75 dollars. Wow. we can wash dry and fold your laundry for $75 yes. you know we can tutor we can we have um helpers that are certified teachers oh so, wow yeah see, so that, we can that raises a great point like sometimes to say to a family that may or may not have used helper before um yeah. hey get someone you know for three hours for 75 bucks and that for those watching like that's a great deal and no connection fee that's a great deal um but people might not creatively even be in the mind space to know how to utilize your helpers. So, I mean, I know, but where can we send people to go learn about some of the things that we can have that they could utilize a helper with? 
Yeah, absolutely. So uh, they'll go to our website at myhelper.com. So myhelper.com. Mm -hmm. um, so Spark Sites is working really hard on that right now for me. <laughs> um, so basically, um, I made a graphic this weekend for every single one of my um, helpers. Okay. So I have a graphic. I literally, it's, it's a fun face that looks like them. Um, and it has, is, <laughs> and it's broken down of all the tasks that they are, that they want to do. Okay. And so that kind of gives you a visual of like, okay, you know what, Deborah, I could see you, you, I need, to, I need a Deborah in my life. I need an Elizabeth in my I life. In my life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, I, I need somebody to meal plan for me and just, take that off my mind because I'm working from home. My kids are home. They're distance learning. You know, I'm, I'm worried about my budget. I'm trying to figure mm. out things. So, um, wow. so we're going to have that rotating on our website. We're also Very have good. it on our social media. I just launched Caroline today. So you get to meet Caroline. So oh. I'm, I'm starting to launch that now. Um, and then there'll be a product page on our website, which will then have just the tasks for you to come up, be able to see. Um, but we're launching this April 2nd. I thought I, I love rain. I might be a minority, but I love rain. Yeah. yeah. Um, April showers is coming. Uh, we yeah. might have already, we maybe already feel like we're in a, you know, the shower season of just this doom and gloom, but I want mm -hmm. to bring some sunshine mm -hmm. and, you know, we know that when it rains, eventually a rainbow comes, you know, yeah. and I've been hearing and seeing a lot of inspirational quotes and I was like, okay, let's do this. You know, like we're here to bring the sunshine and the help to families right now. Yeah. Um, and so we're launched on April 2nd. So Very maybe cool. uh, you right. shouldn't show this video until then, but <laughs> No, we will. We'll build up. Definitely. It'll help build okay. interest a little bit. So question to you, like, what are you learning as an entrepreneur in this season? Yeah. Um, I feel like I said this actually last month when somebody asked me and I, it stays true. It's yeah. listen to your customer. Yeah. Um, listen list, to the customer. Listen to the customer. It's your business is going to ebb and flow. I hate yeah. that. I like control. Um, yes. I thought when I started my, you know, when I started the nine week course that I had this plan of like, this is how my business is going to be. Wow. And nine weeks later, I was like, nope, it's nope. going to be this. It's going to be this, this, this. <laughs> yep. And then the week before I launched, um, mm. I had an opportunity that I was like, okay, you know what? This fits into helper. So it's, mm it's continuing to be that way. And I'm learning like, it's not, not going to stop and that's okay. Yeah. Um, you don't, you don't have this, I have my website and it's perfect and it's not going to change. Like yeah. it's not true. You know, you have to, Oh yeah. <laughs> change. You know, people <laughs> spend thousands on websites to get the perfect website and then business changes. And that's what we started spark sites with was this yeah. idea that no, no, you don't need to spend God's money for the perfect website. You need to spend a good amount of money for a good website that you can change with. Yeah. Because something I've noticed about you is you, you've always communicated to me anyway, and I'm sure to your friends, I really like stability. I really like security. But you, and, and I think you brought that paradigm, and, and I think you knew that adaptability was core to the entrepreneur. And in the early days of you starting this business, I remember you communicating like, I'm so insecure about how, well, you know, what I'm doing. But you have dealt with adaptability better than some people that are professing entrepreneurs that I know. And so whether or not you like adaptability, <laughs> you, you've done it well, you yeah, know, compared to you. some people I know. So I think you're doing great. You're earning your merit badge for sure. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. <laughs> so, so what's a word of encouragement we can give other entrepreneurs before we wrap up? Oh, yeah. Um, well, I mean, one, you're not alone. I think that... Yes. I, there's many opportunities, I feel like, um, to, to get together, to feel that, you know, there's these zoom calls with the bridge, there's zoom yes. calls with co-starters. Um, there's zoom calls, you know, with, I know, uh, Lakeland chamber. I mean, Lakeland yes. chamber, I've not been able to be a member yet financially yeah. and they've been wonderful. They put yeah. my information on their website. 
of yes. their gift card um, initiative, and I'm not a member. So I'm very appreciative of the community. And yes. um, I feel like, you know, if you feel you're having a bad day, okay, one, that's completely normal. That's okay. And yeah. two, you know, reach out to somebody, reach out to a, a business owner or look up the bridge, look up co-starters, look up chamber um, mm. and, and find a zoom call that you can get on because yes. once you start seeing those faces yes. and, and you know that you're not alone and that we're all trying to do this together and we all, we all still know our why. Yes. And, and you got, and I think once you, you tell yourself your why, then you can keep on moving and it's okay right. to rest, watch a movie, you know, <laughs> read a book, That's take right. a, take a breath. It's okay to take a day off, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. but, but tell yourself your why and, and I think you can move forward. So that's huge. And, and that's probably what I was going to say when I was making my comment about you and adaptability, like you might not, you yourself as an individual and temperamentally might not prefer it, but I think you have a very strong sense of purpose. And so then, and it's not just about the helpers though it is, it's also at these families and you making that connection. And I think all it takes for you is a quick afternoon nap and a reminder of why I'm doing this yeah. and you just plow and come up with a solution. So I really appreciate it. Um, so for those watching, um, that's myhelpher.com, uh, myhelpher.com. Check it out. If you are going through some of the helpers and don't see a task you need, reach out to yeah. Teresa. She's we'll available on you. Facebook. She's available with the contact info and she, she has, how many helpers have applied to you that have skills that you might not have found a pair for in the dozens? I have about 70 right now, 70 women that wow. are looking for work. So yes. even if, so even if it's um, not a task and it's something that maybe that you need an employee, maybe that you just need somebody just to pay individually, you know, maybe you don't, you can't do the rate. So we did lower our rate immediately. I didn't sure. say that before, but Three weeks ago, we immediately lowered our rate. Um, so, you know, I yes, we can work with you and figure it out, and I can connect you with the right person that, yeah. you know, fits your needs. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, well, we'll put the links in whatever, wherever you're seeing this, if it's on YouTube or Facebook, we'll, uh, we'll put the links to My Helper, as well as some of the resources you mentioned, and we always need to give shouts to any resource. I know that in a, like a normal market, we all have our preferred little corners of the world we work, but when things go crazy like they are now, you really need to reach out. So I'll put some of those links down there as well. Teresa, thank you. I consider you a foxhole friend. And that's what I'm calling people who are still, whether they need a day off or not, they wake up the next day and still join the fight and keeping people employed, keeping the machine going and serving people because that's really what needs to occur. Uh, in their lives. They need that help. So I really appreciate you, not just for your mission, but for your heart as an entrepreneur. So thank you very much. Thanks thank everyone you. for watching and uh, we'll be posting this soon. So thanks.